This is just a quick heads up. This summer we changed numbers for our units. So the teacher may say that this is unit 3A study guide key, but it is really unit four. So don't get confused. Let's look at numbers one and two. So in number one, we are matching the word with the definition. And these are the concepts covered during this unit. So let's start with range. Normally we think of domain and range together as a pair. So we know that the domain is the input. So I look at my choices here and I see A says the independent or the input values. Range is the other part of that, it is the output. So I'm scanning up oh, and D says the dependent or the output values. I'll mark that as D. Now my next word down, relation. I know that in math, if anything is paired up, we call that a relation. So we could simply say that is a set of ordered pairs. A function is a certain type of relation where for each input there is one output. And so if you scan, it looks like E gives that in the definition. Linear is what we call a function that when we graph the ordered pairs, they form a line. So we've got C. And then with different types of data, discrete and continuous. Discrete data are values that are counted or separated, not connected. So, for example, if you're counting items, you have one, two, three. That's called discrete data. We won't, don't use any of the values in between one and two. Continuous data is where we use all the values in between one and two. These are amounts that are measured. So B is our definition. Weight is continuous because if you weigh... 100 and then 110, at some point in time you weighed all the values in between. All right, number two, it says given that the following relation is not a function, change one number so that it is a function. So remember that a function is that for each input there is exactly one output. So I've got this input repeated and then it has two outputs, not one output. So I could simply change this to a different input and that will make it a function.